to the exclusive podcast we are telecasting from Diane Mold India 2024 exhibition, the 13th edition, organized by Tagma India. So in this uh, podcast, which is the shape shifters, the untold stories of manufacturing, we are having with us the president of Tagma India, Devaraya Sharagar sir, president for last uh, couple of years. He is having a vision for Indian tool makers to uh, you know, do business in the global level. Even in India also, it is all about the, the quality what we need is on the global level. Things have changed. Yeah. So, I would first of all, you are, you yourself is in the tool making industry for last three decades. Sir, what is the major changes tool making industry have witnessed in the last uh, three decades? Especially in uh, my tool room, I started in 1993. And uh, basically, I am mold maker. And I um, come to Mumbai on 1981. And after 12 years or 13 years of experience, we started to own the small way. And that time is very difficult, is finance. So we have our uh, own community bank society. They are taken that time. It's very small amount of 70,000 rupees. They started with 70,000 with Devu tools, with the two people only. Today, after 30 years, today we have 580 people with the high technical molds we are making now. That time is difficult, that time is not CNC's, only manual missions. And now after 10, 10 years of my company, around 93, 2003, 2001, we started with the all CNC missions and uh, all computerized designing systems. It's all developed now. After 30 years now, it's developed on too, many, too many things in technicality. And now it's growing all uh, in a uh, good way. And you see, I'm told already in 30 years we have grown two people, so 580 people, and already market name is branded is there, Dev Tools. So we are making all good way. And also, same way in the Tagma, we are associated in, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm associated in 25 years. And last two, two terms is my presidency going on well. And we are making the all exhibitions and dye molds, ITS, and also we make chapter meetings in the, all, the, all the state especially in Mumbai, Bangalore, Chennai, Delhi, and Coimbatore, uh, last we made, Pune also we made. So with this all going for the industry. And this exhibition is made for technicality improvement of our uh, tooling industries. And still we have good demand in the tooling industry in India, but we are not capable to fulfill the requirement of India. So we are now fulfill the requirement, planning for requirement to fulfill. Still we have seen we have the market survey, 23,600 crores requirement, but 35 to 50, 40 percent we are uh, importing. So now we are pushing to my tool makers, friends, so you develop your uh, tool room industries and make uh, more investment and make more big. So cover the import, we are stop the import, maybe within four to five years, maximum stop 34, 40 percent to 10 percent import only we keep. Reason is we have problem for steel, in local, the steel must be where to import. The reason is that requirement steel not in India. So the reason import is there, maybe we keep 10% only for the import. So we are developing the all tool makers you see now in the exhibition, good portfolio going on the third day, and all technical team coming from OEM, Tire One. We are same thing we are developing for next exhibition also. And maybe my exhibitors more come to next exhibitions. See, uh, there is no doubt India is growing and the kind of uh, initiatives what Tagma India is also doing is completely yeah. appreciable. Mm -hmm. But as you told that even now 40% of the modes are getting imported. And also I think Indian mold makers are also exporting outside. Yeah. But one thing what we have seen is the requirement of the industry before 30 years and the requirement today, be it automotive, be it uh, this pipe fitting industry, or be it the white good, the other capital equipment. How it is changed? The needs of the OEMs, the needs of your customers. Now before 30 years is all going on manual systems. That time is requirement of the very less. And also now the automotive, that time I think 30 years back automotive in India make maybe one or two people only manufacturing or two percent. Now most of 98 percent from import only. Now that will come to 60-65% 60, 60, of the uh, manufacture local and 30% only import. So that will be covered by, uh, we told already, next 4-5 years cut down to 10% only keep. The reason of 10% the steel. Otherwise, 
Now we all developed compared to quality, compared to costing, everything we developed in India. Only the challenges before the Chinese, that will be now cut off. The reason of our quality is better than European quality we have done there. So we no need to compete like that for import and this. Yes, export. Still, I, myself, my business in 30% export is there. So that is the, our uh, capability and uh, quality. We are competing with the European market, also competing with European suppliers. So that is our Indian quality and Indian uh, manufacturing capacity. Bringing uh, new people to the tool making industry, because we startups, for an IT it is very easy, it is the thought process, but yeah. putting up a high tech uh, tool room is a very costly affair. Yeah. How we can bring the young blood, young generation uh, to become a tool maker? No, we are already in uh, our industry, we already we are especially in our tool room also. We are bringing from every year 60 people from the students of the NTTF, CPAT, and GTDC. It's all the same field of the mold making industry. We are trained them for two years, three years. Then after that, some people staying with us for the continuous. Some people going outside for the higher education or some other things. Some people come to the yes, startup. Startup purpose, yes, Tegma is supporting them. And we give them the ideas if you want how to start and everything. Based on that, again, finance. We are requesting it, the, our small, small uh, MSME and uh, CDB and all these people supporting with the lower interest rate. But if you want big size, then you are discussing with the bank and the RBI and our government also. Still, they are not given that much support to in special uh, terms of interest and all that. So that we are requesting again is uh, now is stable government is there. So we are requesting them again through our uh, association, maybe more support for uh, tooling industry. But maybe supporting next, maybe I think in 2025 you should get more support from the government. Sir, how much automation will come to the tool makers? One of the important thing is the understanding of making a mold. Because it is not a standard product. Yeah. Every mold is not going to be different. And there are some the criticality. Uh, when I visiting your uh, stall, I have seen a particular uh, plastic product, you know, which have a lot of complexity in it. Yeah. So uh, that uh, skill is very important for a mold maker. And there is a big uh, gap in yeah. getting the people. So yes. what are the steps uh, TACMA is taking to no, overcome this? We are trying to develop the designers in India, but still have gap is the reason is, it's very complicated products. And uh, especially in the uh, automobiles, we get the models from uh, OEMs and tire ones. That model we have developed, to, uh, developed converted to the molds. So they still we have struggling in the design areas. So we are starting with planning for developing and we are discussing with all entity FCDs, design college. Still, yes, shortfall is going on. But again, I am happy to say that so many our design uh, association team, still they make design exported to out of country. That also is there. But that we want to still, uh, Tegma is planning for make some centers, but still not reliable. Maybe within two, three years we are planning for both the center for designing especially for designing, that may be supporting to all uh, design uh, problems in the market. Sir, one thing what we have seen in China is that, you know, they think as a community. Yeah. Like if mold makers are there, they come together, they share. But that is something which is missing in the tool makers in India. Maybe it is changing, but still, uh, how, what is the possibility of coming out with a very uh, excellent tool room? Uh, with the investment of couple of people and then use it as a common facility. Maybe TAGMA can also come and I don't know. If those kind of developments, can it happen in India? Yes, we are trying, especially when uh, we are discussing in uh, two, 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 three months back only we discussed with all big toll makers. We make on the association like uh, understanding about nobody make a spare capacity of open. Jointly we make dual nature. No, uh, not before. Before have the competition is there different way. Now is all healthy competitions. I think is uh, possible. It is there already. Still we are doing each other. We are make understanding with the vision three years. Make a job work and give them. They are make job work on them. Then I am told not we give to take big orders. Jointly make and share and make. This possibility is there. Maybe it's shortly is come come up these problems. The reason is our aim is stop the imports. So then only possible all is jointly make work. That possible. The first we can take care of our local market, that is best and that will only help us to yeah. uh, sell more outside also. Collaboration is the key and complementing is the thing, you know, vision what we should have in the industry. And uh, people like uh, Devaraya sir who is thinking about in this direction I am sure is going to help the Indian tool making industry.
Sir, thank you very much for your time, your busy time and uh, so coming and being part of this podcast. And we wish you, Tagma, as well as Devu Tools, all the very best. Thank you.